This episode is exclusively sponsored by Can We. Get clear on what you and your data are looking for faster. Can We is your expert guide on your dating journey. Check out the Can We app in Apple's App Store or on Google Play. Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Domper Social Media Behaviour. I provide audio coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details. www.dateme.tips Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing... Domper social media behaviour. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, it can be very stressful to see how your ex behaves on social media. In today's podcast, I'm going to discuss three common dumper behaviours that people might see online and explain my thoughts on what this means. So let's get straight into this. And number one is posting positive things. If you're a dumpy and you want to try to get your ex back, it can feel very disheartening to see your ex the dumper posting lots of positive things on social media. You start to wonder whether you meant anything at all to your former partner. You start to think, do they even care that they have broken your heart? You are suffering and yet they seem to be having the time of their life. They are posting photos and statuses showing them having a great time, enjoying life every single day. But are things exactly as they seem? In my opinion, most people like to showcase online the best version of themselves. You've got to understand that social media is what you want it to be. You show online what you want to put online. So if you want to showcase yourself as somebody who is living an exciting, positive life, this is very easy to do, even if it's not the case. Now, I'm not saying that your ex isn't doing the things that they are speaking about or that they are showing photos of. It's quite possible that a dumper after a breakup will go and experience new things. This is during the period of time that I like to refer to as the dumper honeymoon period. After the breakup has taken place, most dumpers will go out into the world living the life that they believe they couldn't live whilst in a relationship. This might be going to clubs, this might be going to parties, this might be experiencing new things which look really exciting when you see the photos. But the truth is that these elements are only a brief moment in time. After a few months, these type of things are no longer as exciting as they once seemed. And even if initially you think your ex Domper is doing something wonderful every single day, the reality is it was perhaps one day during the week. And these photos, these statuses are just being spread out across that week, even if they don't actually represent what happened on every single day. If a dumper goes to a party on a Saturday, they might be posting photos of this Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They might be spreading this out. It doesn't mean that they are partying every single day of the week. Quite likely and quite possible, they'll be having these mundane days just as everybody experiences. When somebody ends a relationship, it's not one big great party forevermore. People still have to live their regular life. They have to live normal life. And normal life can be mundane. So if you see your ex posting all of these positive things on social media, please don't think to yourself that they are having the time of their life every single day. They are so happy that they broke up with you. They can't remember you anymore. Don't think these things. Your ex will never forget you. Your ex isn't having a great time every single day. Your ex isn't partying because they know you're upset. These things aren't true. Your former partner, the dumper, is very likely to be feeling quite bad about the situation. Even if they're not showing it online, it doesn't mean that they're not feeling upset if they know you're upset. The vast majority of dumpers do not want to hurt their dumpees. When they cause a breakup, when they action a breakup, they do not want the dumpee to be suffering. 
This is something which will happen, but unfortunately, the dumper doesn't know how to go about things from this. The dumper ends a relationship because they weren't feeling fulfilled, they lost romantic emotional attraction, and they need to do what is right for them. They need to give themselves the best possibility of living the life that they believe will give them fulfillment. So this is why they end a relationship. It is not that they're trying to party and celebrate the fact that the dumpy is now upset. In the vast majority of instances, a dumper would feel devastated if they found out their dumpy was suffering day in, day out. The dumper does not want the dumpy to feel bad and the dumper is not trying to shove the dumpy's face into their happiness. When the dumper is posting things online, they are fully focusing on their own journey. They are focusing on showcasing themselves as a positive individual living a great life. As I've just said, this isn't necessarily accurate every single day, but they are doing it for them. They are not trying to upset the dumpy. They are not trying to say to the dumpy, look at the great life I'm living without you. You know, I can do these things now I'm not with you. They're not thinking like that. They're just trying to live their life the best way they can and show the world that they are living a great life because quite possibly they felt that other people was judging them. They probably felt that other people was looking down on them. Maybe they felt that they was deemed as boring, as uninteresting, and they are now trying to showcase themselves in a new light. They're trying to reinvent themselves as a single person. But this is about them. It is not about you. So as a dumpy, if you see your ex dumper posting positive things, okay, there might be some truth attached to what they are posting. I'm not saying they are lying. But what I am saying is that this isn't happening every single day. Their life is still mundane most of the time. And they are not trying to upset you. They're not trying to rub your nose in the fact that they are now living a great life. Because these moments of greatness are just a few hours a week, quite possibly, of them trying new things, which very soon will feel boring, will feel mundane, and won't be as exciting as they do right now. So if you see your ex dumper posting positive things, please don't freak out about it. Please don't feel that your ex is trying to hurt you. Please don't feel that you can never get your ex back. And please don't feel that you don't deserve to live a positive life yourself. Because you need to remember as a dumpy, whether you want to get your ex back or not, you must push forward on your own journey as well. You must live your life. And I suggest that if you use social media, you should be posting positive things as well. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast about dumper social media behavior. And point number two is posting negative or unusual things. If you are a dumpy, I strongly suggest you don't check your ex's social media. It doesn't matter if you want to get your ex back or not. Checking your ex's social media and online behaviour is not going to help you. At best, it's going to confuse you, and at worst, it's going to break your heart again. Now, in point number one, it would quite possibly break your heart. Point number one, we was talking about the dumper posting positive things, and this might make the dumpy feel upset because they feel the dumper is having a great time without them. But now we're looking at point number two, and this is when the dumper posts negative or unusual things. And this is more likely to confuse the dumpy. Sometimes a dumpy might see a dumper posting unusual things, things they don't understand, things which seem negative, and they might think to themselves, the dumpy might think, look, is the dumper trying to send me a message here? Is the dumper trying to say that they are not happy? Is the dumper trying to say to me in code that they want me to contact them? And I would strongly suggest this isn't the case. Of course, there is no 100% guaranteed way of understanding exactly what everybody means in everything they say or do. But what I would say is that most of the time, if a dumper wants to interact with their dumpy, they will reach out to them in an obvious and clear way. It is very rare indeed for a dumper to be playing mind games online, because when you think about it, it doesn't make sense. If a dumper wants to speak with their dumpy, they will just contact them directly. That is what happens most of the time. A dumper has no guarantees, but a dumpy has even seen what they post online. 
So why on earth they would try to use some elaborate code method online on their social media to get their dumpy to contact them? Well, it just doesn't make sense. So if you're a dumpy and you see something online which you think, you know what, maybe this is my dumper trying to get me to contact them, I would suggest that this is not the case. I would always say that if you've been dumped in the vast majority of instances, you should never contact your ex again unless they contact you first. And this has got to be clear, direct, obvious contact to you. Not a strange, bewildering code of messaging and images that they post online. They are not going to make it that difficult, that tricky, that confusing for you to understand. Most dumpers who want to speak to their dumpy again will make it abundantly clear via direct messages to you. So whatever you see your ex posting, whether it's positive, whether it's negative, don't let that affect you into wanting to reach out to them. I would always suggest wait for your ex for dumper to contact you first. If you see your ex for dumper posting something negative and it is of a concern to you, then of course tell your friends or family, use your common sense, but you need to be looking at things and understand that they are posting what they want other people to see. And this is not just for you. They are putting things out into the universe and if they are asking for help from some kind, they will likely be hoping that other people see this as well. If this is not your responsibility as a dumpy, this is not for you to reach out to them. And if you're ever worried about your dumper, or if you're a dumper and you're worried about your dumpy, speak to your friends and family and see what they suggest. They will always have the best idea. If you speak to other people, they will give you a more rounded concept of what this might mean. But just as when dumpers post positive things to get across their living a great life, having a wonderful time, sometimes dumpers or dumpies or anybody in general will post things online which are negative because they are looking for sympathy. They are looking for people to contact them. And this doesn't necessarily mean for a romantic perspective. So if you're a dumpy and you want to try to get your ex back and your ex for dumper post negative things online, this doesn't mean that they want to get back with you. It quite possibly means that they want to speak with somebody, but there are many people online other than yourself and they're not going to be expecting a dumpy to be reading their statuses and reaching out to them. They would most likely reach out to you. Again, if you feel worried, speak to friends and family, use your common sense. But in most instances, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's unusual, I would strongly suggest that you never contact your ex again unless they contact you first. And the easiest way to avoid all of this confusion is don't check your ex's social media. It will never help you. At best, it will confuse you. And at worst, it will cause you heartbreak. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about dumper social media behavior. And point number three is watching your stories. So some social media allow you to see what other people have been viewing of yours, whether this is stories, whether this is something else. If you have the ability to see when other people view your content, this can be a concern for you If it's your dumper, if your dumper is viewing your stories, if your dumper is interacting with your posts, you might be thinking, what does this mean? Do they want me to contact them? Well, as I've just said, I strongly suggest that you never contact your ex again unless they contact you first if they dumped you. And this includes if they watch your stories, if they give your post a like, all of these types of things. I would be looking for obvious direct contact, a direct message to you that you then respond to. If your ex watches your stories, then of course it's obvious, it showcases that they are interested in what you're up to. And you can use this to your advantage, making sure that you post positive stories, you post yourself in a great way, showcasing your life in a bright, positive light. That's what you want to be doing. But please don't get hung up on this. Sometimes dumpies see that their dumpers have watched their stories consecutively on days across a week and then they stop. And then for whatever reason that may have happened, the dumpy feels devastated. Please understand, we don't know for certain why a dumper is watching your stories. And we don't know for certain why a dumper has stopped watching your stories. It doesn't necessarily mean they've met somebody else. It doesn't mean they are angry with you. It doesn't mean that you have not done what they wanted you to do. This is about them. It is not about you. And if you are feeling distressed about your ex's social media behaviour in this way, you may need to block them. 
or certainly remove notifications in any way you can because your mental health must come first. If your ex watches your stories and then stops, there could be a whole manner of reasons as to why this has happened. Possibly they had a few free days and was checking everything out online and then they was really busy. You know, it could be something as simple as that. So please don't let this affect you. If you can live your life and not be affected by your ex dumper dipping in and out of you in your stories, then that's absolutely fine. But if it's affecting your mental health, then you need to consider blocking them or removing them from your social media notifications. Yes, you can increase your chance of trying to get your ex back by posting yourself in a positive way in statuses and via stories. But please don't get fixated on this. Don't use this as a way to rule your life. With or without your ex, you will have a positive future. Okay, and if they're watching your stories, then that shows you that they are still interested in you. But if they don't contact you directly, then unfortunately at this time, they are not ready to reconnect. It doesn't mean they won't want to in the future, but of course nothing can be guaranteed. If your ex watches your stories, smile about it, but don't get hung up about it. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back, or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back, or move to the next. Ain't no sweat, you know Vincent Bo got you. Finding love ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips. Check it out now.